This AI will pay you if they get their predicted valuations wrong. This is not clickbait, this is actually real. So I got this email a few weeks ago that got my attention. The first line was, we are a company that uses artificial intelligence to find the best real estate investment opportunities. Real estate, AI, this got my attention. I do get a load of these type of emails asking me would I review some prop tech products that a company is working on and perhaps make a video on it and even offer to pay me to make a video on that. Prop tech, but 99% of the time I'm not interested in it. I don't see any real value in it for myself or I don't see any real value in it for you guys either. But this one did get my attention. And as I said, I'm not joking about this one. This AI tool will pay you a compensation if they get their predicted future valuation wrong. Before I explain, I wanna take you back a few weeks. The hype around ChatGPT is everywhere at the moment. I even did a video on it on the first week. It kind of got launched saying how it was gonna impact real estate agents and what's the likely future for real estate agents when it first came out. I've also done videos on how tech will impact the real estate industry, how it will impact real estate agents' careers in the future. Because I believe that a lot of tasks can be done by AI and bots into the future, even managing viewings and bots can answer all the questions that someone viewing a property might have. And I think one good agent in the future might be doing the job of perhaps 10 agents or even 100 agents now. But I always thought the art or the scale of valuations would be a hard one for AI to replace anytime soon, but perhaps I was wrong on that. And I'm not just talking about valuing a house when I am referring to the art of valuations. Valuations of houses is relatively straightforward and easy, but valuing commercial properties is far more complex. But either way, no two property is the same, even in residential. No property has the same location, even in apartments. Some are on different floors, some have better uh, fittings and fixtures, better views, etc. So none are exactly the same. No one property occupies the exact same location as another and therefore you're always going to get a type of uniqueness in each property and there's no two properties exactly the same in the world so each property will have its own degree of uniqueness and when you look at commercial properties each lease can be unique in its own self and i think that adds a layer of complexity to valuations because the data is not comparing like with like because of this uniqueness and limited data in some locations i always thought we were a long way off before ai would really be doing a good job valuing property I have attended talks in the future of valuations and while tools in the residential sector or tech tools within the residential sector are becoming more commonplace for valuations on the commercial side, valuations tools or valuation tech is very much bespoke. But both commercial and residential valuation tech tools at the moment are very much based on analog systems and valuers and their input and judgment is still very much required. When it comes to commercial real estate in Ireland, a huge amount of deals happen off market. Maybe even 50% of deals happen off market. And therefore, you really need to know what's happening in the market and use very good judgment. And therefore, an AI valuation tool could get it very wrong. I did even do a video in the past on how Zillow relied too heavily on their AI valuation tool and bought up loads of property and they got caught up in the whole hype of working from home trend and bought in the wrong locations in many regards and it cost the company billions because they employed thousands of people that didn't have a huge amount of experience in terms of valuations and they relied heavily on their AI tool in terms of making decisions for purchasing property. And it nearly cost them the entire company, but it did cost them billions in the end. So let's just say a few weeks ago, I didn't really have much worry that AI was going to replace the valuation role anytime soon. But maybe I was wrong. Perhaps it's going to happen far quicker than I originally thought because a Dubai-based company, prop tech company, using AI is so confident in their AI tool in terms of predicting future value that in some cases they're even willing to offer compensation if their AI tool gets it wrong. But that is an extremely bold statement and that company is called Realisty AI. As I said, I got an email from them a few weeks ago. That email had an opening line from Real Estate AI, a company that is using artificial intelligence to find the best real estate investment opportunities in 10 cities worldwide, including Dubai. We are the first company owning this technology and our unique decision-making process is revolutionizing the real estate market. And this opening line 
did get my attention because I thought AI obviously interested in terms of how it's going to impact valuations in the future but also the fact that they said it was part of their decision making process also got my attention as well i generally say thanks but no thanks to these prop tech companies that reach out to me asking me to do a video but the idea of artificial intelligence becoming part of the decision making process did have me wondering and i did want to know more about it. so first off i obviously clicked on their web link that they provided with me with well, I did open up their link to their main website. The first tagline was online broker for real estate investment. That kind of put me off a tiny bit because I was like, oh, I was thinking this was gonna be more about AI than a real estate brokerage and stuff like that and just another listing service. So the website does come across in terms of the first bit that you tap into, it comes across more as a marketplace to buy property. So as I went through their website, there was more details in terms of AI-based uh, insight, online bookings, risk management, private deals, and a whole host of other things and some taglines as well, but our AI-powered platform analyzed real estate markets faster and more accurate than agents and experts. So again, that got me thinking in regards to replacing the traditional valuer, et cetera. While I did look at their website, I was a little bit concerned that this was just going to be another marketplace, perhaps like a hyped up version of Daft or My Home. What I was really interested in was the AI and the, how the AI was valuing uh, properties and how that was working. So I did agree. I reached out to them. I set up a call. I ended up speaking to two of their employees on their team in Dubai and we scheduled, I think it was about a 45 minute call but we ended up talking for about an hour and a half. I think I quizzed them on so many things that they weren't expecting me to ask them on and even made reference to it that the questions that I was asking were questions that they hadn't got before and they started actually noting them down just in case anyone else did ask them. But basically after we got through the first 40 minutes where I grilled them, they showed me a version of the live site. And on the live site, basically they showed me a map of Dubai where they had all their properties. And the properties basically ranked from kind of different risk levels that you wanted to set or different yield levels that you were interested in looking at. And we're suggesting these were high yields, low yields, better values or better returns, potential returns. And you click into each one of those properties and you could show you what you could buy, you, how you could book, how you could also put your booking deposit on, how you could confirm the purchase of that property, what your stage payments were. And as we kind of went through it, I realized that all of these properties that they had on it at the moment were pretty much off plan properties that are buying during construction or before construction. And I did ask them, was there going to be a, was this platform going to be open to the secondary market? Because there'd be more homes that actually probably around the world that will sell on the secondary market. And did say they are working on that and they will be launching a platform for the secondary market in the future. So there is, it's not just going to be off the plan properties. Eventually there will be secondhand homes coming onto that. But I asked them more and more questions about it. So basically who they were working with, were they working with other agents or they were working with directly with developers. So in most cases they were working directly with developers and they had agreed fees. They hadn't obviously explained all that to me just yet. So they showed me through a number of different properties. They showed how it worked, how people could buy and secure their properties, what the potential returns were on those properties over a course of kind of one year, two years and three years and how much their down payments would have to be over that construction period and what their potential return would be and what the potential yield would be if they were renting those properties, etc. They went through a handful of properties. They explained how the AI works, how it ranks properties, how it values the properties, how it determines if they're a good deal from an investment point of view or from a rental point of view or are they underpriced for a certain zoned area or are they overpriced for that area so it was highlighting them in different types of colors so you could analyze properties quite quickly based on how the ai was saying that this is an undervalued property for this area or an overvalued property for this area as well but then they mentioned at one stage that if their ai tool got the future or the predicted future value of the property wrong, they were willing to offer compensation to the buyer. I was just, I just stopped them. I was like, hold on a minute. You're willing to pay a compensation to the buyer if your AI program gets it wrong. 
And I was just like, hold on a minute, you need to explain this in a little bit more detail. Obviously they explained some details to me, obviously there's some confidentiality that they can't go through, but they basically explained that if they had enough data in a particular area that their AI tool would be confident or they would be confident enough in their AI tool to predict the future value of that property. I was like, no broker in the entire world or no investment broker would give you that level of comfort around a future investment that's a year or two years or three years away. So I was really blown away by this statement and I asked them to provide a little bit more detail on it. So they did provide me a bit, little bit more detail on it. They don't offer it on every single property, but they were able to show me one or two properties that they do offer it on. It's down to how much data they have around that area. But some of the potential compensations might range from 2% to 4% based on the purchase price. Exactly how that all works, I don't have all the full details on it. I'm not working for them, I don't have any affiliation with them, so obviously I'd have to know a lot more about how their company operates and be involved with that to explain more about that process, but the fact that they're even willing to offer that, I thought was quite staggering to begin with. I did grill them down again about how they can be so confident in their AI tool providing such certainty of future growth over a course of kind of one to two, one to three years. But basically they said their AI tool analyzes hundreds of factors and data points within certain areas, even looking at future development within that area in terms of new schools going to be developed, new retail, what's actually happening in the surrounding areas in terms of infrastructure, etc., and how that will impact value over the next few years, analyzing it in such detail that areas that have three or four schools close by will increase in value far faster than areas that only have perhaps one uh, school being built in the area. So that's the level of detail or complexity that the AI tool was looking at in terms of the future. And I'm not quite aware of how many valuers would go into, particularly residential valuers would go into in terms of how many schools are being developed in the next three to three years and how that's going to impact the value on one area or versus an area that only has one school versus an area that has three schools. So I thought that was quite interesting that the AI tool was looking at future developments and what's planned as well in terms of what's already being constructed and what perhaps might be built in the future in that area. So I did find that perhaps this AI tool can go perhaps a step ahead of kind of most uh, normal residential valuers. But basically they are confident in the AI's ability to predict value and predict future value over a course of one to two to three years for some developments if they had enough data points within that area. Obviously, as their data grows, the major developments they can offer this type of guarantee on will grow as well. It may not work in new countries that they're kind of deploying the product to, but as they grow in size, they probably hope to do this. I'm, again, I'm not working for them. I don't know the exact details of how this compensation works. Don't quote me on it, don't hold me to it. This is not a sponsored video. I've no affiliation with them whatsoever. I just know what I've been told and I was quite taken back that they are offering these type of guarantees. Towards the end of the call, they did suggest it might be a good idea for me to have a interview with the founder and ask kind of some of those difficult or harder questions to the founder. If you guys think that would be a good idea, Perhaps put it in the comments below if you think that'd be a good idea. And maybe if you have any kind of questions on valuations and AI and the future of AI within property, put them in below and I might be able to ask those questions as well. They did also mention that they're looking to expand to all major cities around the world and looking to partner with local experts. So if you are a local broker or a local agent and you think a tool like this or an AI tool like this would help you or help your region, perhaps it's one you might look into yourselves. I still think every property is unique and AI will struggle with that factor for some time. Perhaps starting with off the plan developments is the correct starting point to build up the AI and build up the potential on the valuation side. And developments like this show perhaps that future of valuations and future of AI valuations isn't as far off as I thought it was going to be. Let me know what your thoughts are on AI and the future of property in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Please show your support by liking the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.